Just a quick video today of some things to be careful about when buying cryptocurrency. So when you're first buying cryptocurrency, you want to avoid these mistakes. Now it goes without saying that cryptocurrency overall is a pretty risky investment. There has been huge growth in the cryptocurrency market over the last year or even more than that. Um, but there's also big losses. So as you can see, Ripple here has gone down 43% in the last seven days. 43% in seven days. That is huge. At one point, this was over $3. So it's lost nearly half of its value. So even though Ethereum's gone up 40% and has gone up significantly, other coins go down. So very risky investment. So obviously, be very, very careful. This video is not financial advice. Do your own research, but just wanted to make you aware of a few things. One of the things to be aware of if you're in Australia is that don't purchase Bitcoin using Poly or don't put your money into these Bitcoin exchanges using Poly. Some of them provide it as an option. However, I have heard of people's bank accounts being frozen because they're using Poly, the transactions not going through. So if there's a Poly option, just ignore it. Don't do that. That was a tip from one of my friends. So I have avoided that. You also need to be aware of fake prices. So there are some websites out there that provide a price like Cointree.com will say they provide you with the best Bitcoin price, but you have to put money into a bank account. I haven't actually had it happen to me myself, but Cointree has some pretty terrible reviews talking about how it's a scam, talking about how the fees that they charge is just ridiculous and it's not very transparent. Um, so Cointree is something to be aware of. I personally have used independent reserve for larger quantities and I've used Coinbase for smaller amounts. Coinbase I find has one of the best prices on the market. They do charge a 4% fee and they have a weekly limit, uh, but they often have the best price and independent reserve, while not as good, we can see $20,000 versus 18,390 uh, in Coinbase. So even though they're more expensive, you can do larger quantities with them from early on. So anyway, links to those down in the description below. If you sign up with Coinbase using the link below, you do get 10 free dollars in Bitcoin, I think, uh, if you spend over $100. So just beware of the fake prices. Always do your review on these exchanges and see what other people have to say before doing it. And what I did was put a little bit of money into these exchanges. They often have minimum amounts and just tested it and see how it worked and see what the fees are and i tested it with a small amount of money that way if i lost money in fees then you know i wasn't losing too much so be aware of fake prices and excess fees another thing to be aware of is bank transfer keywords i got an email from independent reserve the other day saying that banks are not allowing users to transfer money to exchanges to purchase cryptocurrency. So they don't want people purchasing cryptocurrency. So if they advise against using keywords like Bitcoin or Ethereum or Ether or cryptocurrency in your bank transfer. So I transfer money to Independent Reserve to buy Bitcoin. Usually takes about one to two days to transfer. So when you're doing that transfer and you can write descriptions, don't write Bitcoin or Ether or anything like that. So just write something so you know what it is but that's just not gonna be a keyword that's gonna get flagged by the banks because then you might not go through, uh, your account could get frozen as well. So be careful with that one. Uh, and lastly, transfer fees. This is something that I wasn't aware of because if you use Coinbase, then you can transfer to GDAX for free uh, and you can transfer out of GDAX to any other exchange for free as well and so you know, I just kind of assumed that was the way it was done, that to send Bitcoin, it was free. However, a lot of these exchanges have excessive fees for withdrawing money. So Independent Reserve, for example, has a fee of 0 0.001 Bitcoin to transfer Bitcoin. So if we do Bitcoin to Australian dollars and we type that in, um, they're charging 0.001. So they're charging $18.50 to send Bitcoin from one wallet to another. However, uh, with Bitcoin Cash, they're only charging like way less. It was like a dollar or something like that um, in order to transfer it. So Bitcoin Cash can be a much cheaper way to do it. 
For me, when I buy through independent reserve, I'll buy it all in Bitcoin Cash. I'll then transfer it to an exchange. I use Binance or Qcoin. I'll leave the links down to them below as well if you're looking for an exchange. Uh, but I'll transfer to the exchange and then use the exchange to transfer from Bitcoin Cash into Bitcoin or into Ethereum or into whatever coins I want to hold. So there you have just a few things to be aware of and to be careful of when buying cryptocurrency. Obviously, big risk with this investment. Avoid using Poly completely. Be careful of fake prices and test out the exchanges with small amounts of money or look at reviews before investing in them. Uh, avoid those crypto keywords in your bank transfers and look at the transfer fees for the exchanges used. When I first bought with independent reserve, I bought some Bitcoin, I bought some Ethereum, I bought some Bitcoin cash. And so that was like $18.50 to transfer the Bitcoin. It was like $15 to transfer the Ethereum and then $1.50 to transfer the Bitcoin cash. So all in all, I lost about like $35 in transfers whenever I had just bought Bitcoin cash, moved it over, um, it only would have been a couple of bucks. And then to change from Bitcoin cash into Ethereum, it's only like a 0.1% uh, trading fee. So yeah, something to be careful of. Hopefully uh, that helps. If you want, you can check out this video on how to buy cryptocurrency with Australian dollars or check out one of my other videos.